Hey YouTube family, welcome back to Vehicle to Longevity. With your father-daughter dynamic duo, together we're on a mission to transform the way you eat and live, all tailored to your blood type, of course. We are super excited for today's episode because we've got a double feature lined up. In part one, we'll dive deep into the world of fluoride. Buckle up because there's a wealth of information to unpack. So let's jump right in and optimize your health on this blood type journey. Dad, let's kick things off. What exactly is fluoride? Thanks for the question. Good evening again. Fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral found in water sources, soil, and certain foods. It is also commonly added to dental products like toothpaste, mouthwash, and drinking water to prevent tooth decay and promote dental health. Study also shown that toothpaste and mouthwash associated with fluoride can also kill the good bacteria in your mouth and decrease saliva. So dad, what was fluoride originally used for? Great question. A study from September 6, 2021 stated the first use of adding fluoride to drinking water was undertaken by the Nazi party who added it to drinking water the ghettos and prison camp. They found through human experimentation that fluoride make people more docile, meaning quiet, not aggressive, and easily controlled. The first place in North America to fluoridate water was Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA, in 1945. Wow. So, Dad, what are the disadvantages of fluoride in your water in the first place? Another great question again, my daughter. Excessive amount of fluoride in your water can contribute to the following problems. Dental fluorosis, skeletal fluorosis, arthritis, bone damage, osteoporosis, fatigue, and joint-related problems and chronic issues. Fluoride can also cause discoloration and roughness as tooth enamel. Additionally, some studies suggest that potential links between fluoride exposure and other health issues such as thyroid dysfunction, neurodevelopmental disorder, and bone fractures. So that what amount of fluoride is safe in drinking water in Canada? Great question, my daughter. In Canada, the acceptable range for fluoride in drinking water is typically between 0.5 to 1.5 milligrams per liter. Mm -hmm. As recommended by Health Canada, this range is considered safe. However, specific regulation may vary by province or territories. And exposure to very high levels of fluoride, typically are above four milliliter, milligrams per liter, can potentially lead to acute fluoride toxicity, also known as fluoride poisoning. Symptoms of acute fluoride toxicity may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and in severe cases, convulsions of cardiovascular collapse. The latest study on the Bermuda 6 of 2023 found that children drinking water with high levels of fluoride perform worse in mm -hmm. tests designed to elevate new learning and memory. It is important to follow local health authorities and regulatory agencies regarding fluoride level in drinking water to ensure safe consumption. Your shower water is also important for your skin, hair, and scalp. Some individuals may experience dryness or irritation of the scalp or hair after showering with fluoridated water. This is from the hardness of the water and other chemicals commonly found in tap water. So to minimize the effects on your hair, skin, and scalp irritations, using a water filter or shower head filter that removes fluoride and other impurities from the water. Daughter. Yes. Which food and beverages have fluoride in it? Some vegetables that may contain small amounts of fluoride include spinach, kale, collard greens, turnip greens, cabbage, and lettuce. What fruits and vegetables help trigger saliva production? Another great question. Eating crunchy fruit and vegetables such as 
carrots, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, apples, and pears. It's important to note that the fluoride content in vegetables is typically much lower than in other sources such as fluoridated water and dental products. Additionally, the health benefits of consuming food tailored to your blood type, of course, outweigh any potential concerns about fluoride intake in these sources. So dad, how can we eliminate the exposure of fluoride? To reduce fluoride exposure, you can take the following steps. Use fluoride-free dental products, filter your water, drink bottled water, choose natural foods, and be cautious with dental treatment. Mm -hmm. By being mindful of these steps, you can reduce your fluoride intake and minimize potential edge risks associated with excessive fluoride exposure. Nice. Right, so that is a wrap for our part one on today, my friends. Thank you for joining us on another educational episode on the vehicle to longevity. So be sure to catch part two. You won't want to miss it. We'll share the best home filtration system, top choices for fluoride-free bottled water, and our favorite fluoride-free toothpaste. So continue to tour on this train with us as we unravel the marvels of the blood type lifestyle, empowering you to live the best life for years to come. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to become a part of our growing community. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue to build this beautiful community that supports each other on the path to real wellness. How dad? Blood type way. Be at ease without disease, my friends. And we'll catch you back here for the next one. Cheers.